<laughs> What's going on guys, your boy Boosted Lucky. We're back making some videos. As you guys can see, the Challenger is right here. It has not changed uh, state much, but we have a lot of new parts that are going on the car, a lot of new exciting partnerships, and uh, we're, the car's going to SEMA, so that's really, really big. Uh, SEMA crunch time right now, so we have the car up here with Jack and the boys at Jack Pat Performance. They're gonna take care of getting this thing all ready for us so we can go out there to SEMA, get the car ready to go out here racing again and make some cool content. So uh, currently right now, you wanna come closer, the car does not have a motor in it. It also does not have a transmission in it, but that's all gonna change. Shout out to our partners at Texas Speed and Performance. Uh, they refreshed our 411. There was nothing necessarily like wrong with it, but it has some wear and tear from, you know, race season. And it's smarter to, you know, get the engine refreshed before something happens. So we're trying to be proactive instead of reactive with everything. Um, so Texas Speed on the short block, still a 411 stroker with a billet crank. Um, we teamed up with Pure Drive Train Solutions that you guys can see by the shirt. Uh, we're gonna be running their stage three transmission with their billet converter. Um, spec'd out for this car, so it should handle everything for, you know, sub, sec sub seven second passes. Um, and we also have some more lightweight mods. So if you wanna come over here, we have, so we have auto addicts, you know, as far as the carbon fiber for the front of the car. But now we also have their lightweight doors. So we have carbon doors for the car now. And we have the carbon fiber trunk. And there's gonna be a lot more parts that are gonna be going on here. But as you can see, I'm gonna come closer. This car is dusty and needs a lot of love. <laughs> uh, wheels need a lot of love. Whole car needs a makeover. If you wanna look inside of here, there's literally a full on spider web, you know, just chilling in the car. Yeah. But um, this thing needs a lot of love uh, to get back out. The car's been down for, I think, you know, since Texas 2K. Uh, we've been trying to, you know, figure out the best course of action to like bring it back the way that we want it to be. Uh, so I didn't want to rush anything. So the car's just been sitting, but we got some cool parts. So let's go in there and look at them. All right, so some new parts that we have for the Challenger are these valve covers from Modell Works, um, based out of Austin, Texas. Sorry if I butchered that name, I'm not 100% sure. But um, these are some really, really sick Gen 3 Hemi uh, billet valve covers, CNC machine. Uh, he even included a uh, name plate. So for Lucky Racing, it's really, really sick. It's gonna fit on just like this. That's gangster. We also have these DSR uh, steel rocker stabilizers. So these are gonna go on the valve train. So the rocker arms to stabilize them at higher RPM. So shout out to DSR Performance for that. And we have this fluid dampener, 11% overdrive balancer for the Challenger. So but here we also have the Pure Drive Train Solution Stage 3 transmission that's gonna be going in the car. So this thing should handle all the power we have. We have two of these things, so if one breaks, we got another one, so we're prepared this time. It has their upgraded clutches, it has a billet input shaft, um, it has the billet converter, as you saw, and uh, it should be ready to hold all the power we're gonna throw at this thing. So we're really excited. Uh, the car is gonna be a lot lighter than what it was before now, so we're gonna even the playing fields, and um, yeah, have some fun, get ready for, you know, uh, SEMA, and see how things go so I'll let these guys take it from here I'm unfortunately not able to just drive up here like I used to I got responsibilities now got a baby on the way uh, so that's coming up really close so I have to you know delegate time and let other people take care of stuff so uh, who else better than the guys up here at the shop that we always work with and um, yeah we're gonna get this car cleaned up and you guys will see in the next few clips it running and Ready to go to SEMA.
what's going on guys we're back up here at the shop the car is almost we say like 90 percent complete yeah, shout out to jordan and the whole team at jack fabin performance jordan leo berto jack matt everybody who came up here supported and helped us out the car is pretty much ready so as you guys can see we have the valve covers from model works and then we have our 38 whipple we have everything all pretty much cleaned up um we're missing some stuff obviously we still have to get the car detailed professionally and everything to get it ready for 2k but how do you guys think this went was it pretty smooth yeah yeah, yeah everything looks good pretty much plug and play so it's pretty much plug and play we have the pure stage 3 transmission in here with their building converter we have you know our 411 with our 38 whipple and then we still have the nitro system and everything else on board everything went right back together car's been down for seven months yeah it's been a long seven time. months this car has been down and that's why videos have been kind of taking a little while but we're back we're ready to go out here and start racing we have some events that we're already kind of all planned to go to uh the car is going to be on some hoosiers and stuff so but currently the wheels that are on here are not the wheels that are going to be on the car as you guys can see we're going to be in the auto addicts booth so we have their front fender package we have their front lip we have their doors we have the carbon fiber rear fenders we have the carbon fiber rear trunk and yeah the car is pretty sick uh these doors are really light and um yeah, car is pretty dirty from sitting, and uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Let you guys hear it, some fire in the pipes, and yeah, do the honors, Bertha. <laughs> Dude, I'm excited. Give me some. <laughs> all right guys so we're pretty much going to wrap up here the car is going to go to detailing uh get all the wheels that need to be on there on there put the front lip on the car and um yeah this thing is dude <laughs> are you excited oh i'm excited we have some more parts, like I said, going on here, and we'll just keep you guys updated on our next video. So, Seamer Crunch is pretty much complete. Car leaves on Tuesday, and um, yeah, shout out to Jack Babin Performance. Okay, cool. So we're here with John and all the guys at Manette's. Brian's all over there. You got the baby. Say hi. <laughs> so he's got some stuff to show us that is a pretty trick and getting rubber and all kinds of other grime off on the uh, 
the rear wheels and as you can see this is just one spot and there's all the rest of the rubber and it takes just a couple of seconds and as you guys can see we have the auto addicts carbon fiber all on the car we have the Hoosier racing tires RC component wheels this thing is almost ready for SEMA we just got to get the front lip on and a couple other little things and we're ready to go but He's gonna give us a demonstration. So he has some unreleased to the public. This is, what is this called? Uh, magic. Magic. It's gonna remove any kind of burnout rubber that you have uh, that's gonna be on your paint or your wrap as well, so. Cool. Sure. Cool. So you simply just gonna spray it on there. Let we'll it soak that. for a good, you know, 10, 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then make sure you use a rubber glove. Yep. That just soaks for a minute. He's gonna come down and then we'll grab some water. Yeah, you'll see it. Guys, that stuff is just falling on the ground. That's crazy. I want to show them all the buildup. Yeah, that's a lot. That was just coming off. Cool. Yep. Yeah. 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 And then I'm gonna use some water cool. to to neutralize it. Look at that. Wow. That's some pretty trick stuff right there. Look, look, look how much came off. Oh my goodness. Dude. You're, the, you're the man. You got that down pack, dude. So yes, sir. So these guys are taking care of the challenger. You're gonna have this thing SEMA show ready. It's already looking immaculate. They have a couple more things to finish up, but if people are looking for you guys, where can they find you? Uh, 10844 Harry Hines Boulevard, Suite A, mm -hmm. Dallas, Texas, 75220, right behind El Paisa. There you go. And if they wanna find you on Instagram, they're gonna follow at? Uh, Manette's Megashine or Ceramic Pro Elite Dallas. There you go. You guys heard it here first.